It is an age of technology, and universities have their information on the official websites. You should know how to get things you need from these websites, for it is the easiest and smartest way to acquire information. This video will teach you how to find information on admission requirements, tuition, and living conditions. Hope it helps! There should be no problem for you to get to this official site of University of British Columbia. Now you want to know about what you need to be admitted, find the word admission. It will then lead you to a page like this. Decide where you want to study at. Let's say, for example, Vancouver campus. Then, choose undergraduate program of course, as every freshman will start with. Always take a look at the top bar right here and you will notice the word admission again. Then define your education as Canadian high school and BC curriculum. Finally, here we go. Every grade 12 and grade 11 courses required for every program is listed here. Refer to this page as you do a grade 11 course selection later this term. And that is all about admission information. Look for the keyword tuition on the bar and choose what you want to know, in this case, what it costs and adding it up. Here we go, with the general overview and also detailed outline of tuition for every single program. Make sure you look at the correct row. For us as international students, you may want to look at the right row and determine your cost. There are also very useful functions on UBC's website, like cost calculator. And estimate your expense more accurately. Just define your identity and also your financial status. It will generate a number for you as your reference. Here comes our last question. How's life there? You can find both information about on-campus as well as off-campus living. Let's explore deeper as an on-campus living applicant. On this page, you will find out information on your residence options, Resident support, meal plans, residence costs, how you can apply for residence, some important dates, and also what you can do after your first year of residence. You can click on these highlighted words to know more about these terms. And let's click the most first year students live in place, Totem Park. There is certainly one thing that websites are really good at, and that is providing visual tours. So why don't we watch an exemplar video together about UBC's freshman residence, Totem Park. My name is Joanna Waggett and I'm a residence life manager for Totem Park. Floors are paired off into brother and sister floors and so um, there's a multitude of people that you can kind of hang out with and get to know pretty personally. In a typical single and double, each student gets a bed, um, which can be lofted, about hip height. Uh, you get a dresser and a desk, as well as a closet. Every house is a study lounge, so that's a unique feature of Totem Park, and so you can go there and study 24 hours a day in quiet or group. Um, and all the study lounges are wireless, so you can take your laptop down and work on your assignments. The Commons Book is really the heart of the community. Everything is there, everything's offered there. Uh, the main thing, obviously, is the front desk, which is open 24 hours. They're always there if you need help with your keys, or if you want to check your mail, or if you have any questions. Commons Walk has lots of things. In total, we got uh, the pool tables, lots of vending machines, study rooms that you can rent out during exams. Uh, what's great about the dining hall is, again, kind of the sense of community that it fosters. I mean, apart from the fact that they have great food, they service all dietary needs, which is nice if you're a vegetarian or if you have allergies or something like that. Uh, but also, it's just nice to come home every day and know that you'll always have people to go and eat with. So, you know, often floors go together for dinner and we'll eat. 
I think that what sets Totem apart from other residences is the amount of spirit that we have and the way that the spirit sustains all year. And I think that's really linked to the tight-knit community that we create through the programs that we have. Color Wars really starts off the year. It's really great in September. People just paint their entire bodies, wear their colors, cheer a lot. It's really fun. I think my best totem memory is the kind of blur that is color words, I guess, just because you get to see everyone come out, everyone come out raring to go with their colors on and paint and everything like that. And there's just so many funny memories created on that day and so many mem or friendships created on that day. Here is the homepage of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I hope you have no problem finding it. Since we are international students, look for words international. And here we go. Now let's deal with our first question, how to be admitted. Find the keyword admission and let's explore. We are applying for undergraduate degrees. So we click on the admission requirements under the section of undergraduate students. So now we finally get into the primary page of admission guide. We may refer to this page often since it contains all the information we need. Find information you want to know. For now, we want to review the application process. Through this page, you can get familiar with the process of admission. There are two most important requirements high school coursework requirements and essays. This is where you find high school coursework requirements, which is very important. And for this particular university, essay requirements is also needed. Attention, because we are international students, so we may have some additional requirements. If we go back, we will find a section called Additional International Requirement. There are specific requirements listed for us, and we don't want to miss them. For Chinese students, we also need junior high school transcript. Moreover, SAT or ACT test is another mandatory score that we need to have. Wondering about tuition? You can go back to the primary admission page and click Coast. For your notice, you should look at international expense, which will include tuition fees, books and supplies, room and board, and other expense. Next, if you want to find out dorm and meal plan information, you can search them in the campus life section, housing. First, you can have a general idea about the dorm condition, facilities, and meal plan. Click Apply Now. In Undergraduate Housing Options information, you can know details about different dorms, such as location, area, and roommate options. 